I'm Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some amazing challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside your best mate. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up is Kate and Bethany from Wrexham. Then it's Anna and Rachel from Inverness. Followed by Zach and Harry from Swindon. And Ethan and Matthew from Aberdeen. We've met the best friends, but what goes on up here? Hello, I'm Kate. I'm 12 years old. I'm Bethany. Me and Bethany have been friends for 11 years, and we like doing swimming, eating lots of sweets and chocolates, and we like doing Morris dancing today. We're so confident that we're going to win. We definitely aren't going to get guns. Guns is yucky, so we're not going to get guns today. We're going to win. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm 10, and I'm from Inverness. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm also 10. We enjoy playing with our pets. I've got two guinea pigs. We both have an annoying habit. Anna's an annoying habit. She she says I know to nearly everything. I know. I <laughs> See what I mean? I know. Rachel's annoying habit is when her favourite songs come on in public, she'll always start dancing. Be best friends forever. Even if we do have annoying habits. Hi, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm Harry. We mostly like playing sport. But mostly football. And I'm the best at No, that. I'm the best, Harry. No, OK, you're the best, but I'm the best at cricket. No, you're not. I'm the best at cricket. I am the best at cricket. Right, you're the best at cricket then. We're going to win and we won't go home until we do. I'm Ethan. I'm Matthew. And we were born on the same day. 23rd of May. <laughs> I snuck up on Matthew and jumped up and said stitch. And he went, ah! And um, the chair got stuck in my bum and we went flying and nearly hit the whiteboard behind us. We're here, here today to win, win for Aberdeen. Aberdeen. <laughs> they seem really, really nice, but they better not get too comfortable in each other's company, as all too soon they're going to be ripped apart by the mixer. But more of that later. Now it's time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here in the Best Friend Challenge, if they win, not only do they gain a psychological advantage, they also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. It can come in very, very useful if any of the best friends make it to the final, as we play this. Tube Strike. Look at you all. The best friends are in massive oversized tubes and here we're going to see just how well they work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty bumpy terrain. They'll start in one corner, they then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team coloured target. Accuracy will be really important as it's quite easy to miss the target. Once it's hit the floor, they then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and try and strike down the one and only winning red balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Hinks, Ethan and Matt take a tumble. It's a power struggle in the middle. Who wants it the most? <laughs> Clever rolling from Purple, Zach and Harry. It's gridlock in the middle, but Harry and Zach have found a way through. Top left, Silvers, Anna and Rachel are close, but it's pink. And yes, Purple's down too. Crash, pinks and purples collide. Pinks look stronger. Wow. Ethan and Matthew are right chasing the middle. Let's see how you won that. A perfectly timed flip equals a perfect choo try. Did you have any tactics? Uh, run. Run. <laughs> Run as fast as you can. But well done, you've won the hand of friendship. Now, this could be the difference between winning and losing. If you make it to the final, do you think you can go all the way? Yeah. Yes. 
Well, this is interesting, because very soon the best friends will be playing against each other. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. Let's mix it up. The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Ethan and Bethany. Next up is Kate and Anna. Then it's Rachel and Zach. And finally, it's Harry and Matthew. So let's see what the mixer has created. What is going on behind the frenemies' minds? We've got Ethan and Bethany. Now, Bethany thinks that boys can be childish, which is just not true. Whereas Ethan thinks girls can be bossy. Is that the basis for a good frenemy relationship? We'll find out. Then we've got Kate and Anna. Now, Kate's superpower would be to clean the world of all its rubbish. That's really admirable. Whereas Anna, well, she would like the ability to talk to animals. I wonder what she'd say to a carnivorous crocodile. That'd be an interesting sight to see. So these guys, good-natured, that could be a force to be reckoned with. Then we've got Rachel and Zach. Now, if Rachel could only take one thing to a desert island, she'd take her teddy bear. Is that practical? I don't know. Whereas uh, Zach would take a helicopter. That's genius. That'd be like a short break, wouldn't it? You could just fly out whenever you want. Then we've got Harry and Matthew. Now, if Harry had a custard pie, he'd choose not to eat it. He'd choose to shove it in his headmaster's face. That's harsh. That's really harsh. Whereas Matthew would put a cream pie straight into Anne Robinson's face. That's fair enough. I mean, I can't, you can't argue with that, can you? These two, oh, don't only got the wrong side of them. You could get custard in your face. Now remember that one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Rip off. The aim is to run as quickly as possible to this outfit here, then squeeze both your heads through, look. You have to keep your enemies very close here as two of you have to fit into this costume. Only once you're in can you then start ripping off. There's 40 triangles all together, 20 on each side. And let me tell you, ripping off is a challenge in itself. Plus, some of them are in fairly hard to reach places, so you're going to have to use the power of agility. Talk to each other because also some of them are quite hard to see, so you're going to have to be your frenemy's eyes. Once you think you've ripped off all 40 triangles, shout, rip off! and I'll see if you have indeed ripped them off. Remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated. Keep your enemies close! Even squeezing into the suit is tricky. All four frenemy pairs are ripping off at a right old rate, despite some of those triangles being hard to reach. Talk to each other. Katie and Anna, knees he does it. <laughs> Rachel and Zach look close. Rip off. I'm going to have a look. I can already see you've got one Rip triangle off. remaining. So carry on, keep going. Give me a 12. Oh, no, nope, still got more left. Give me a 12. Yes, well done. Kate and Anna ripped off. No, you still got more stuff to go, Harry and Matthew. No, you still got one more. Give me a 12. Ethan and Bethany still have one. Which one is there for your side? You top there. You still... No, no you still got, you still got one on the back. Rip off. Which Rip means off. you've lost by one measly triangle. Let's look where it went wrong. Bethany and Ethan sneakily whip off their last triangle just a little too late. Right, successful frenemies, if you'd like to take off your costumes and go back to the mixer. But for Ethan and Bethany, it is the blame game. Let me just take this off and slide it down there. Now, do you blame each other? 
for the moment you are eliminated and you're headed to lockdown. Ethan, we won't see you in the final unless your best mate Matthew can win you back. But for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. Oh, Bethany, it's lights out and lockdown. Let's crank up the mixer and create new pairs of frenemies. The first pair of the mixer is Harry and Anna. Next up is Kate and Zach. And finally, it's Rachel and Matthew. What's the mixer created? What is going on here? We've got Harry and Anna. Now, this is interesting, right? Harry reckons girls giggle and scream way too much. He just can't stand it. Whereas Anna reckons boys don't listen. Well, that's going to be quite frustrating for Anna if she thinks that Harry's not listening when she's trying to give him advice. Could that be a problem there? Remains to be seen. And then we've got Zach and Katie. Now, Katie really doesn't like science, but Zach cannot get enough of it. Uh-oh. He might be trying to talk science, and Kate will have no idea what he's on about, and then they'll end up arguing. Rachel is a cat lover, which maybe suggests he likes to come and go as she pleases, like cats do. Matthew's a dog lover, and he has his own dog, it's a boxer called Louis. Dogs are loyal to the end, coming and going as you please, loyal to the end. Could they not get on? Well, remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. YouTube. This is U-Cube. Here are three massive pieces of cube. And over here are another three huge pieces of cube. Together, they create one cube. Now, the aim here is to get these three pieces all the way over there. But what are you going to go for? Are you going to go for speed? But remembering, these are quite heavy, awkward pieces. So you're going to have to find a happy medium between speed, communication, and the power of problem solving. Remembering, the last pair of frenemies to complete this will be eliminated. Frenemies, I bid you good luck. Keep your enemies close. A good strategy is to look at those gaps in the cube and then work out which piece to target first. On the right, Zach and Katie slot in the green piece. Harry and Anna are targeting the top piece, the awkward yellow one, but should they work on the sides of the cube first? Matthew and Rachel have slotted in the yellow piece, only the pink left to complete the cube. Rachel and Matthew look like they're slotting in the last bit, but have they got it the right way up? And the pink, push it in. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Yes, yes, yes. You, John, you, you Well done, Rachel and Matthew. Yes. Harry and Anna are in all sorts of trouble. Come on, guys, remember, keep twisting the pieces, keep twisting them till they fit. There's only one variation that works. On the right, Zach and Kate have placed the pieces on the correct sides. Rachel, encourage Anna, help Come her. On, it's not gonna go. We need to turn it the other way. Oh, yeah. The encouragement's working. Amazingly, Harry and Anna are on their last piece. You're so close. Could that be it? This is going right to the wire. You're both so close. Oh, oh, oh. You it, I think. Oh, that was almost a photo finish. You guys, you just couldn't get this piece in. Let's have a look at where you went wrong. Moving that tricky yellow piece first lost Harry and Anna precious time. Blame game. Whose fault is it? Um, no one. Now everyone is still in a chance of getting to that final. So you really rely on your best friends. Anna, can your best friend do it? Yeah. What about you? Totally. Why? Because um, he's very competitive and he, I'm sure he'll do his best. He is competitive and I'm sure so is your bestie. <laughs> so for the moment, you're headed to lockdown. Lights out for Harry and Anna. Let's get this mixer moving. Just four players remain. The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Zach and Matthew. And they'll be facing Rachel and Kate. So it's four friends in lockdown 
Four friends still in the game. It's all to play for. Right, let's see what the mixer has created. So we've got Zach and Matthew. Now, Zach thinks taking part is enough, but that is not enough for Matthew, as he thinks it's all about winning. Could Zach's kind of not winning mentality bring Matthew to a state of anger? We'll find out. And then we've got Rachel and Kate. Now, Rachel doesn't like it when girls ignore each other and can't take a joke. Kate's bugbear is when other girls wear too much makeup. Let me see. Well, there's not much makeup for either of you at the moment, so you might get on quite well, but it also appears that you're both quite opinionated about other girls. Could you end up arguing? They'll need to work together, as it's all up for grabs as we play this. In the pipeline. Here, the pairs of frenemies will have to get a ball bearing like this from the start all the way through these pipelines to the finish, which is all the way over here, using only one magnet. But in the middle of a track is a barrier where the frenemies will have to share a magnet while still keeping the ball bearing on the course. Now, your best friends in lockdown are counting on you. This is pretty big. You're still all in with a chance of getting through to the final. Will your new frenemy pairing be a magnetic friendship that will attract the right results? Or will it be a case of two negatives and you'll come unstuck when it really matters? Guys, I bid you good luck. And remember to keep your enemies close. It's all too easy to lose concentration by sneaking a look at how your enemies are doing. Help each other. Really talk to each other, frenemies. Smooth changeover between Zach and Matthew. They're both even Stevens. They're changing over at the same time. Go, keep going. Kate is struggling with that vertical bit. The boys are doing really well. Oh, just dropped it there, Zach. It's pretty much exactly even Stevens. It's going to the wire. Quick. Just do a clap. This couldn't be any closer. Oh. Oh, this is close. Whoever navigates the first vertical oh, bit might just snip it. Oh, okay. Interestingly, Zach is on his knees whilst Rachel prefers to stand. Yes. Yeah, well done, Zach. And Zach's done it. Keep your cool, Rachel, oh, slow and steady. Oh, she's done it. This is so close. Keep your cool, guys. Go on, don't chop it, don't chop it. Matthew nervously glances at Rachel and Kate. This is heart-stopping stuff. Rachel is struggling as Zach sneaks ahead. Go on, get this up. Zach is on the glory run. Rachel's just getting frustrated. Don't give up yet, Rachel. And Matthew guides it home. And it's victory for the boys. You've won your best friends back for the final, but girls, come here. Come here. It's commiserations. Let's just have a look where you went wrong. Rachel and Kate just couldn't conquer that tricky corner fast enough. Rachel and Kate, there was a moment where it was literally even Stevens when you were stuck on that vertical bit. Both of you, the boys just edged ahead. You worked so hard. How do you feel? Mm, disappointed. Disappointed. You did so well to get this far anyway. Congratulations, you played a great game. But for you boys, well, Zach and Matthew, you won back your best friend and, more importantly, a place in the final. The best friends have been reunited for the final. Now, Zach and Harry, what's it like to be back together? Brilliant. Awesome. Do you think you can continue the winning momentum that you built up? Of, of course. course. That is confident. Matthew and Ethan, you started very well. Do you remember when you won the Hand of Friendship? Yeah. yeah. Let's just remind ourselves of that winning moment. <laughs> now, this Hand of Friendship, can come in very, very useful. We'll tell you a bit more about that later. But can you keep on winning as well? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. We'll find out how confident these guys are as we play this. 
the final. OK, best friends, this is it. This is what we've all been waiting for, the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You'll then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if your letter was C, and the category was country, your answers could be Canada or China. There are loads of different answers that you could choose. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers, and this is the sound you'll hear when time's up. <laughs> two correct answers will send your enemies along that track closer to those chutes. Now, those chutes are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clay. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now, the aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier there, where the losers will be covered in clag, but the winners will be covered in the feeling of victory. Now, Matthew and Ethan, you have won the hand of friendship. Now, you can use this if you don't think you know the answer to a question. It's as good as two correct answers, but you have to say the words hand of friendship within the five seconds. Purple and pinks, are you ready? Yes! That's what I like to hear. Zach and Harry, you'll be going first. Here we go. Let battle commence. Your letter is L. Category, animal or bird. Time starts now. Lion, Lion and lamb. Brilliant. Two correct answers. It's a great start. Pinks, you're moving along that track. OK, Pinks, you ready for your first letter? It is S, your category, country. Time starts now. Spain and, um, um, oh, oh, Slovakia. Oh. Just out of time there, the buzzer had already gone. You did say Slovakia, that would have counted, but you were out of time. You could have also had Scotland or Singapore. It was on the tip of your tongue, and now you're kicking yourselves. You could have used the hand of friendship, but you decided against it. So it's a good start for you, Purples. Your letter is R, category, band or pop star. Your time starts now. Robbie Williams and, um, quick, quick, um, um. So close, you only gave me one. You could have had Rihanna, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Razor Light, so close, but yet so far. Matthew and Ethan, are you ready for your letter? Here we go. Your letter is M, category British League football team. Time starts now. Millwall and Manchester United. Is is that? That's two correct answers. Ethan's congratulating you. It's two all. Zach and Harry, are you ready for your next letter? It is S, category food or drink, your time starts now. Soda and soup. That is two quick, correct answers. Harry's proving that his logic is top notch. Ethan and Matthew, you're moving along the track. You've still got the hand of friendship in play. Here we go. Your letter is O, category, animal or bird. Your time starts now. Otter, Otter. orangutan. That's two correct answers by me. Congratulations, it's even Stevens. You send your rivals closer to the clag barrier. Right, Zach, Harry, are you ready for your letter? Yeah. Here we go. Your letter is P. Your category is country. Your time starts now. Poland Por and Portugal. Brilliant, two correct answers. You're doing really well. Ethan and Matthew, you're moving closer to the clag barrier. This couldn't be any closer. Here we go. P, another P. Your category is band or pop star. Time starts now. Um, hand of friendship. Hand of friendship's well used. That's as good as two correct answers. You could have had P Diddy, Peter Andre, or Prodigy. Boys, you really need to get this right. Are you ready? Your letter is S, your category. British League football team. Time starts now. Swindon and... Southend. 
Southend United, that'll do for me. Two good answers. Ethan and Matthew, you're ever close to that clag barrier. Get this wrong and you go smashing through and Ethan and Harry have earned the right to send you in. It all comes down to this. Are you ready for your letter? Here we go. Your letter is... C. Your category, food or drink. The time starts now. Chips and carrot. Chips and carrot, which means it's deadlock. It's time to bring in the buzzers. Tie break. This is it. It all comes down to this, the tie break. Just like before, a letter will be lit up and a category will be given. But this time, I only need one correct answer. First team to buzz, give me an answer. You send your enemies through. If you fail to give me an answer, the question will be handed over. Do you understand? OK, here we go. The letter for tiebreak is... A. Category. Job or profession? <laughs> that was Pink Team. Matthew and Ethan, what's your answer? Um. Um. Too late, there was too much conferring, which means it's handed over. Accountant! Accountant will do, that's a great answer. Ethan and Matthew, you've gone yes. smashing through the clag barrier. Yes. Right, boys, do you have anything to say to Ethan and Matthew? So, boys, so, so close, close, so close, close, but yet so far. Clag time. Here we go! <laughs> Oh, no! How's that for hair gel? What do you want to say to what do you want to say to those two laughing over there? It tastes like porridge. <laughs> Zach and Harry, congratulations. That final was pretty tense. Were you nervous there? Yeah. Yeah. You must love the word accountant now. Yeah, I love it. Is it your favourite word? Yeah. Good, OK. I think you're well deserving of our solid silver keep your enemies close medallion. There's one for you there, Zach. That's a left hand. And one for you here, Harry. That's a right hand. And two hands make a winning pair. Congratulations. So remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. The weekend gets even better as we join Rani, Luke, Clyde and Sarah in new Sarah Jane adventures. There's an alien trapped in the internet and we've got to find it. It will take human ingenuity to find its precise location. That could be really dangerous. We have to find it fast, which we can't do on our own. Not everyone has what it takes to do what we do. We need help. Right, come on, you lot, let's do this. To join the monster hunt or to see secret cast diaries, the Sarah Jane Adventures trailer maker and lots more, go to the CBBC website and click on the Sarah Jane Adventures. What's the first rule of Bamzuki? Do not, do not talk, talk about Bamzuki. All right, let's do battle. Attack! 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 Four Zooks, three levels and only two places in the finale. This Zook's going out with a bang. How do they come? How do they fall? Super cool. Which show rules? Bamzuki Street rules! The Zooks are back. All new Bamzuki, Wednesdays at 5.15 on the CBBC channel.